What's up, Bazzle Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. I have been, wait a minute, wait a minute. How you doing? How you doing? Well, I have been working like a dog, child, just because school is not in session. One of my students gave me this. It is so beautiful. I love it. Can't wait to use it. And then I got this beauty from Jackie Newton. Is it? It's called Tomo. I love it. They have this kind, they have um, water bottle kinds like this. The stones do not come off. Baby, this is no, this is what you know you extra. She knew the assignment, okay? She's so sweet. She has been with me for years and years and she spoils me. <laughs> First it was Connie Chow, now there's Jackie Newton. <laughs> Connie Child's on another planet though. But I, I just love it. I love her. She is so sweet. I don't know when I'm gonna get this up as I say in all my videos because I have been working, working, working at working on an application, uh, an educational application. It's not for a new job. It's to help other teachers. So I don't know. So. I don't know how to be regular I just don't and then a lot of people um, see my site they think it's not my personality or I'm being extra no it, that's who I am bro <laughs> it's who I am and of course um, the ones who know me you know that I have my highs and lows not very often and then if I'm really feeling that way I I, I don't post videos I'm not in the mood I my energy is blah 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 but I never give that energy off um, at school or when I'm in front of someone because it's not fair to that person so anyway I am loving this honey she is just beautiful mm. I'm drinking some tea honey it's like my tea don't it doesn't get sweet enough I put honey in mine and I put two tea bags because I'll let that seep for a little while but I am here working 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 I've been working non-stop the deadline for this application is two more days so I haven't been editing any videos and it seems like this application process has taken over my life I go to the library every day I stay there until it closes it closes at nine o'clock so I've just been working so today I didn't go to the library I cleaned off my little work area to record some videos I have to record my lessons and so that's what I'm about to do so this is my setup So I have my my mic. Oh, and I have this light here. Hopefully, hopefully it'll give me more light when I'm recording. And you know, remember I told you I got on here. I said my tripod broke, <laughs> so I can't lower it down. I'm gonna try if I can remember. I just have so much going on. This application process has taken me so long I'm quite sure the average person probably would have been done by now but I'm not average I'm not normal so of course you know darling I'm extra and I'm paying the price for it because my time is running out I didn't even get a chance to do all the things that I wanted to do it's just no time I stayed up to 3 30 a.m. in the morning last night more and so I, I woke up a little late so i have a late start but whew, so technically i have one more day left so i have today and one more day so i just need to record my video so i'm just going to show you guys how i record i use screencastify to record my lessons so i just read over the slides and bring out some of my personality and then i bring the recorded video into Ed Puzzle. And that's where I can pause the video, add questions, make sure they understand before they go on, and they can't skip through the video. They can't zoom through the video. And then they have to write notes. So I have guided notes for the children to write, which is pretty simple, but part of the notes is after you write your notes, you then have to summarize the notes in your own words. You're just not going to copy my stuff. What do you understand? Summarize the notes. Or they could draw pictures. They could do whatever. But I need to know that 
the student understands the notes. So this is me about to record, so I want to test my mic out and stuff. So this is how I do it, and I cannot lower, I cannot lower this treadmill. So you get what you get. And I noticed this light is probably annoying. So I'm going to test the mic out first. So it says record. Oh, I can tell the mic is going because there's a thing going up and down. Let me let me just test it out. So I'm going to embed the webcam. And so with this program that I'm doing my application, you have to see my face. Testing, testing. This is a test. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Miss Basil here and I'm back again with another video. Today, we are going to focus on evidence-based writing. And I'm going to end the recording to see how <laughs> that came out. Let's see. Wait, I can't hear, I can't hear. Hold on, hold on, what's this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. See? And imagine if I had done the whole video and I didn't test it out. So let me figure out what's going on, child, because this will make my nerves bad. Okay, guys, I think I got it. So I turned the, my little light off right here so you guys could see. So I don't know, something with my camera, I, I mean, something with the computer and connecting it with the mic. So let me try this again. So I'm going to hit my Screencastify. Record. I have my volume all the way up everywhere. I'm going to slideshow mode. Hey, 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 it is Miss Basil. I'm back again with another video. Today, we're having an introduction to evidence-based writing. So come along. I know that was pretty cheesy, but I just want to test it out. Hold on, it's playing back now. And with another video. Today, we're having an introduction to evidence-based writing. So come along. Okay, so now I'm in business, people. So I'm going to delete that. So, so that's it. So now I'm going to record the video. I'm thinking that maybe, no, that's not gonna work either. Because I'm trying to do closed captioning and Screencastify doesn't have that. So, but I know if I bring it into YouTube, I could turn that on. I don't know. I'm, that's see that's doing extra I know there are certain sites you can use but I think you have to pay for them so I'm not gonna worry about that right now I just want to get these videos recorded and uploaded I have to do I think three lessons they are already done I just need to record and then bring them into another program to apply questions to the video okay with that said I'm gonna turn my light back on and I'm going to delete this one and I'm gonna get started for real, for real. Oh, my camera, the camera, um, the glass that goes over the camera is shattered, so I don't look very clear. Oh well, it is what it is. Go to my video. Okay, here it goes. <clears throat> and I don't know which lighting is going to be the best. thinking I need to raise up my mic, I think. Let's see if I have something to raise the mic a little bit. But then I feel like it's going to be on my face. Let's see. Anyway. Okay, here goes nothing.
Hello, 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 Miss Dazzle here. I'm back again with another video. Today, we're going to talk about evidence-based writing. Now, I hope you have your notes handy and you are going to follow along as you take notes. What is evidence-based writing? Do you have any idea? Can you let me know? What is evidence-based writing? So let's find out. Evidence-based writing is a type of writing that requires you to use evidence. Evidence from the text to support your position, to support your point of view. It's like you have to use evidence to prove yourself and you're showing someone the evidence. So with evidence-based writing, we're going to say EBW for short, Evidence-based writing is used when writing a response to literature. Honey, it's a fancy term for essay. Okay, don't let nobody fool you. Okay, so after reading a novel, a short story, or a poem, you'll be given an essential question to answer using evidence-based writing. Evidence-based writing can be used in all your other classes too. Whenever you have to write something, it's a good idea to make sure you have what? Yes, your evidence. How was that, guys? <coughs> so, I, I feel like I could do it better, but it is what it is. And they want you to be yourself. So, I love doing the recordings and so on and so forth. Now, what I'm going to do is bring it into another program. I have to save it, bring it into another program called Edpuzzle. And then I will add my questions and so on and so forth. And so I have to do two more of these. But the video cannot be longer than 10 minutes. Or I think they said nine. So you, because the average attention span of a child is so short. So that's it. And that's what I'm doing today. And I have some other design work to do for my application. And I'm hoping that I can get it out either tomorrow or in the middle of the night slash morning. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, I do appreciate the ones who have hung in there with me for so many years. I know the content is not always exciting or feels like it's the same thing. But it's just me sharing my everyday life with you. And I do appreciate um, all your support, your comments. Always um, leave a comment. Let me know that you're there. Even if you don't agree with me. And I'm okay with people not agreeing with me. Um, that's life. And so it is what it is. And But as long as you're respectful, I don't mind at all. But I do love you, and I can't wait to take you with me on my next journey. Bye, y'all.